What's up guys? Welcome to the YouTube page. TJ Cozen here. So excited to have you. Everything real estate, entrepreneurship, and lifestyle. Let's get to it really quick. First part, real estate. Why real estate? One, I love it. It's a great business. We do really well with it. It's fun. How does this apply to you? Because this page isn't just about our journey on the real estate entrepreneurship lifestyle journey. It's also about how can you apply some of these lessons, some of these hardships, some of these issues that we've learned along the way into your journey. And that's really why we have the page with these three topics. It makes the entire thing a more rounded, grounded perspective. Let's start with the business. Our business, mostly real estate in the North Texas market. We've been doing it a long time. We're pretty good at it. We have three primary exit strategies we flip a lot of properties we wholesale a lot of properties and we wholesale a decent number of properties also we have burrs we have all kinds of deals that's the real estate part of this YouTube page second part entrepreneurship why so you might be asking yourself really quick now TJ if you just do real estate and you, you just buy and sell houses right like you find someone that wants to sell a house for less than it's worth and then you go and sell it to some other person, person right? and, then and then you make money, you make money doing, doing that. What, that. Do, you what do you actually know about entrepreneurship? About entrepreneurship. Right, right. There's different phases to building a business. There's the hustler phase, business owner phase, and the phase above that is phasing yourself out. We'll get to that later. But for the hustler phase of the business, finding out how to do that, how to negotiate houses is critical. For the business owner phase, there's a lot of aspects of building a real estate business that you can then apply to your own entrepreneurial journey in life. Lots of different heartaches, lots of different struggles. When you take the when you take the level from business owner where you're basically personally self-employed, you're working all the different aspects of the business, and then you start to learn how to take these different aspects that you don't like or maybe you're not that good at, or maybe you just don't want to do anymore and outsource to someone else outsource to acquisitions, outsource to operations, outsource to marketing. That's when you take it from the hustler phase, the small business owner, the self-employed mindset, to the entrepreneurial phase. And that's where you start to understand that it's not so much about leveraging and marketing the product, it's about the process to go to the next step. In real estate, if you're doing one house at a time, if you're buying here, selling here, putting some work into it, relatively straightforward process but take that to the next step. Do 10 deals at a time, 20 deals at a time, 30 deals at a time. Next thing you know, you gotta build the process, you gotta build the, you gotta build the business. And if you wanna do all those pieces by yourself, you're gonna run yourself ragged. That's where the entrepreneurial phase really kicks in and really makes this a fun, fun journey. Whether or not you're in real estate or wanna get into real estate, we'll talk about how to fast track the small business owner, the hustler phase, We'll talk about how to streamline the entrepreneurial phase of the business. And then also, if you're not in real estate, you take the ideas that we have from marketing, lead gen, origination, sales, you take all these different kind of horizontal aspects of our business, apply them to your business, and that's where the learning phase for you also comes in and why this page is about me, but it's also about your journey of becoming a better entrepreneur. All right, real estate, entrepreneurship, for me, the most fulfilling part of it is the lifestyle part, but also in the impact we make along the way. What would you tell your 21 year old self if you were to go back and meet him? And there's a lot of like, oh, go invest in Bitcoin, go invest in crypto, go invest in this and that and all this other stuff. But my advice to my 21 year old self was if you get the process in place, you're going to lose money. You're going to make a ton of money. But what's the most important aspect of both of those is the journey along the way, the memories you make, the friends you make, the experiences you have, the family you build and develop, how you live a lifestyle that really is reflective of your values. That's been, it, it sounds fluffy guys, that's been the most fulfilling part of the journey. It's gonna be the part of the page that's probably gonna be like the hardest for me to really go through because it's not something we naturally talk about. It's easy to talk about cap rates and cash flow and marketing and sell, sales and, and realtors and operations. The fulfilling part is the people. The fulfilling part is the development. The fulfilling part is the family. The fulfilling part of becoming successful in your entrepreneurial and real estate journey is really in the memories, the memory legacy, not even the money legacy, the memory legacy that you create along the way. That's the most important part. It's gonna be the hardest part for me to talk about on this YouTube page. We'll do some videos on it. Thanks so much for joining me. 
real estate, entrepreneurial journey, and lifestyle, all on this YouTube page. What is it, Tolkien? The journey is really the destination. Let's enjoy the journey together.